Hey everyone, welcome back to another Barbecue Bros video. Uh, today is a super big day for me. It's uh, This is uh, Tuesday, September 18th, but it's like Christmas morning for me. Um, what you see here is, this is my new uh, large model Infinity Series Grill Dome uh, Ceramic Kamado Cooker. And... Um, so this just came off of the truck and uh, this over here is a large uh, pressure treated pine table that's meant for this uh, large grill dome cooker here. <clears throat> I actually thought I was going to have to put this uh, table together so I was pretty stoked when this thing already came put together and the, um, the cooker is actually already put together too so we just got some accessories up here but I wanted to go ahead and just kind of, uh, this video is just going to be, uh, you know, setting this guy up and uh, uh, probably firing it up for the first time, let you see what that looks like. Um, yeah, so just want to show you what it looks like straight off the truck. A, a, a big rig, an 18-wheeler pulled up into my neighborhood. Don't even know how he made it in here. Those guys are pretty crazy with the skills. And... Um, just pulled up and came out with these two massive pallets. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to work, start breaking off all this wrap and um, get this thing set up and I'll pick back up and we'll get into some details and I'll uh, show you what this thing looks like. Alright, about 15 minutes later and I finally got all the packaging off and there she is. Haven't named her yet. Um, I'm going to have to think about it but this is the copper color. And if you check out Grill Dome site, you'll see where they have five different colors. And uh, I saw this copper color online like five or six months ago. And it was love at first sight. And I knew uh, whenever I was able to acquire one of these guys that this was without a doubt the color I wanted to get. <clears throat> um, it's kind of hard to tell right here in my garage, but uh, I actually, uh, before... Uh, moving forward with this I had talked to the owner and uh, cuz online you might see where it almost looks pink in some of the pictures but it actually is a, a nice kinda deep bronze but what happens is uh, as light hits it from various angles it kinda turns these different shades so um, they were saying that like during the day as the sun rotates that it just turns all these just gorgeous colors so uh, so that's what the copper looks like and quickly I'll swing around this way open this up you're seeing this for the first time as I am so we're looking there we'll get to this later but look how thick these walls are I mean this is why I wanted to grill down I mean these are just massively thick ceramic walls so go ahead and shut that back down and here's the box that all the accessories came in uh, and uh, we'll get into that in just a little bit and then here's the table still obviously standing up on its side but a super nice uh, pressure treated pine table here and now the only trick is going to be uh, being patient until a couple of my buddies get home and can help me move this to the um, place where this uh, grill dome is going to live back on my back porch. So uh, I'm waiting to hear back from a couple guys and the uh, this large model grill dome weighs I believe 175 or 185 pounds and then this table is obviously beast itself so I'm kind of sitting here solo just you know amping on getting this in the back and getting it fired up so we will be back as soon as I get the table back there and get everything set up alright so I had a uh, couple of my buddies that uh, got home from work and were able to run down here and help me uh, carry all this stuff to the backyard and get it set up back here so this is gonna be its its new home uh, I also got a nice vinyl cover that will cover this entire thing when I'm not using it so it'll stay nice and protected. I left all the parts out so I could go ahead and show you how you put these together. So, got the nice pine table here um, with the cooker just sitting in here. So we'll go ahead and 
open up the cooker and I've got all the parts out of it right now. So uh, before I get started, I just want to mention that um, you know, as I start to cook on this, I'll point some different things out. But the uh, one of the things that Grill Dome is really known for is just the quality of their ceramic material. It's a proprietary material called Terrapex. And so um, it, it's supposed to be more porous and uh, also thicker than any of the other uh, uh, ceramic cookers out there. So they're really known for holding heat well and just being super, super fuel efficient. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing together and I'll kind of talk through these different components. So this huge piece right here is the firebox again. You can see how just massively thick these walls are. This thing right here is uh, at least 25 pounds, maybe 30 pounds. You've got a little uh, slot right here which needs to be facing out to the front where your bottom damper is. That allows for airflow and also for removing the ashes. So we're going to go ahead and drop this in here. Nice and careful. There we go. And oops, we'll uh, line that up. So that looks good right there. All right, so we got that piece in. The next part is uh, one of the upgrades that I got is the metal cooking grate. So it allows the cooker just to get uh, reach higher temperatures, and it also comes with this small little uh, ceramic plate. This has to go in first. So we're just gonna drop that down in there like. That, that's all we gotta do there. And then it's kinda hard to probably see on the camera, but um, you, this thing has tapered edges on it. So this is the skinnier side, and then they're tapered and wider on this side. And uh, it's just kind of meant to allow the ash to flow a little bit better. And um, the tapered edges are supposed to be facing down. And, um, and then the instructions also say for the narrower slots to be facing towards the back. Because that's generally um, uh, the side of the cooker that gets uh, the most hot. So again, brand new cooker, I don't know yet, I'm just going by what the instructions say, so I'm just going to do what it tells me. So we're going to go ahead and place this down in here. Just like that. Alright. The next piece we have here is the fire ring. Same thing, gigantic thick walls. This piece is probably at least 20-25 pounds itself. It just sits right down in here on top of the firebox. Just like that. It's looking good. And I'll pick the camera up in just a second and let you take a look in here. And here's our grilling grate that just sits right on top. I've got a couple accessories that I'll get to a little bit later. Um, so let me go ahead and grab the camera and show you the inside here. So let me pick the grate back off. So you see there that this was the firebox that I set in and down on the bottom is the little disc that I put in. So just like that and then this was the fire ring that I just set on top so it just sits nice and flush like that so you can really get a good feel for what these look like on the inside and put that back on just like that and let me put the camera back on the tripod and I'll be right back alright so we're gonna go ahead and shut the lid here and continue on one thing I wanted to mention was that Grill Dome was the first uh, ceramic Kamado company to offer their cookers with um, all 304 stainless steel hardware. So all the hardware on this cooker, the dampers, the auto hinge, the handle, 
the rings out here on the outside. This top lid is all stainless steel. So this thing is built like an absolute tank. And you know, as I've been kind of showing you, all these pieces are really heavy. So you can really feel the quality in them. Uh, so this is the top that we're going to put on. And this is basically the uh, stainless steel lid essentially with the little top damper that kind of slides back and forth. It has four little uh, screws right here. And all you do is you sit this guy on. And um, let me unscrew this one just a little bit. Okay, just like this. All you want to do is just tighten these just until you have a little bit of tension because uh, I have read online where guys actually took a flathead and started cranking it down and actually cracked the ceramic. Brand new cooker, cracked the ceramic. So as you can see here, I'm just going like this and that's it. Just a little bit of tension and that's all I'm going to do. And then you can take a flathead and loosen this uh, top screw right here so this will slide a little bit more but that's all I'm doing right there and then here is the 750 degree Fahrenheit thermometer it's got a little piece of plastic you just pop that off and this guy just pops right in here just like that so oops there we go so you hear that nice little snap there so it's good to go. And uh, let me go ahead and pop the camera off here. Sorry about that shake. Here is the bottom damper, so stainless steel. As you can see, this just goes back and forth. One thing that I want to note to you guys is that I do plan on getting an adapter for my barbecue guru, uh, DigiQ DX. Uh, that will mount down here, but before I do that, I want to learn how to cook on this thing manually and just get you know really good at controlling it manually um, before I hook up the DigiQ. I've I've done that on all my cookers. I like to kind of get them get to know them first, you know, know how to run them um, manually, and uh, and then I'll hook up the DigiQ. So um, so we'll do that later on. But so that's the damper. So the top view, the top damper so you can see there you just slide a little bit just like that pull it back that's all you got to do this is this heavy duty stainless steel auto hinge that comes on the large and extra large model so we'll open it up and see how beast that hinge is and I think that's about it for now a uh, little close up here the nice grill dome logo See if we can get that in focus right there. We go. And the the pit therm. I think that's about it. Uh, I will um, pick back up. Uh, I am going to be cooking on this thing a lot in the coming months. So a lot of new material on my channel. So I appreciate you guys watching this unboxing. I am super stoked about this guy. Please let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. And uh, I'm excited about kind of taking you guys along on this new little ceramic uh, journey of mine. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.